all turned up for dinner like I just put on a blazer hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i want to do something different uh it's the 4th of october it's my husband's birthday it's raining outside and we're just going to try and celebrate this day with all the restrictions that are going on uh yeah so literally woke up a few minutes ago and we're gonna head out to breakfast sorry but i'm gonna shower when i come back so right now it's just a matter of putting my hair together dressing up going for breakfast and then we are going to go go cut later on and then have dinner and be back home by 10 p.m because that's the curfew all the restaurants in london have to be closed by 10 p.m so yeah that's 2020 birthday celebrations we ain't going to party all night we're gonna come back home by 10 and that's it so i'm just gonna quickly so, so i've sort of like twisted my hair so most of the times i'm carrying my natural hair so i usually twist it because this is easier for me to manage honestly i would love to like um gel my hair tie it in a bun but it gets itchy and I don't think that's the style that I would want to have all week. So this is easier for me. So I just usually twist it out and then sort of like pull it back. So that's what I'm just going to do now. And then we're going to head off um, to breakfast. So. Hey, I'm doing a vlog. So you make the rain disappear. No, the rain is not disappearing. So yes, guys, uh, we've just come out of the house. We're going to go um, for breakfast, and it's horrible. So I'm gonna rush now and get into the car before everybody starts complaining that I'm delaying them. Okay. Hey guys, so uh, we came back from breakfast, was pretty much stuffed and went back home and just sort of like relaxed because the weather is uh, miserable, the kind of weather you want to stay in bed all day but we have to go out because we made plans to like go kart with family and friends so we're headed there now it's five o'clock supposed to be there at five o'clock but you know what we're going to get there eventually About it, but I'm here just to have fun reading. So, yeah. 
so we're back home right and i think we go home just after 10. to be honest this whole vlogging thing i don't know how you people manage because we got there and then i realized we were changing, we were getting to do like the orientation for the go karts and I, I, ju I just did not have time to even start recording or videoing myself and showing you what I was wearing. Uh, you know what, vlogging is not my thing because I feel like you have to dedicate a whole time to recording and you miss out on the experience so I didn't really actually get the chance to video my outfit i only got the chance to sort of like take pictures when people sort of like were celebrating the win and after the race and we got like a group picture vlogging is not my thing i think for me i need to sit down i need to record i need to stop and then edit i don't think going out and then taking snippets of what i am doing or where i'm going is something really for me i mean maybe in the coming future but at the moment i i feel like i just really need to get into the stuff that i'm doing because i feel like i will miss out i have tried to vlog a weekend away but there's a reason why i've never uploaded that on my channel because somewhere in the vlogging i just couldn't i just couldn't because i felt like i'm missing out on the experience i'm going to show you uh the outfit that i transitioned from uh tomorrow is monday so i'm gonna go off and get ready for bed and yeah tomorrow go back to work uh I, hopefully you did like my vlog like i said i'm not good at it uh i'll just stick to the usual stuff but I'll do the video, I'll do the video of the outfit and I hope you guys will like how I transitioned. So the common denominator of my outfit is this um, bareback jumpsuit that I got from Beshka um, about three years ago. I got it in store so I'll try to link something that's similar to it. I don't think they still have it, I don't know. I haven't been on the Beshka website in like ages and I got this in a size 12 if not medium it's quite stretchy so that's what matters first of all i paired uh this uh jumpsuit with these chunky sneakers uh that i got from aldo i just wanted to be really comfortable and uh to go with the outfit underneath um i sort of like put on this top that i got from next to be honest um, when we were leaving, we were sort of like late, so I just really put on what I could think of putting on and I topped it with this uh, dog tooth checked uh, cardigan that I got from Reese. I bought it in a size large. I wanted something that I could use to layer over, uh, of course, when the months get colder. So this is what I did. It's got like buttons all the way down, but this is the only way I styled it. Obviously, you can style it in different ways if you want it to go all the way, all the buttons going all the way up and down, or put a belt in the middle just to give it that snap. This is how I went. Very comfortable, very easy. I mean, as soon as we got out of the car, we went into the hook up space and pretty much changed. So yeah, this is how I wore it. So. Now I'm going to show you how it turned up for dinner like. I just put on a blazer, high heels, and a clutch bag, and we're good to go. So a very simple transformation. So this blazer is from Reese. Um, I think, I don't know if I talked about it earlier, but yeah, it's from Reese and it feels very good. The material is so good. And I got this in a size 14, it was actually on sale. I think it still is, so if it's still available, I'll link it below. Or if it's not, I'll link something similar. I got this like in a size 14 because I wanted to, you know, move a little. I feel like if you're getting blazers, you shouldn't actually get it your actual size. You should get it maybe a size up, that way you have more room for movement. And obviously, because blazers are not uh most of the blazers are not items that are stretchy so you want to be comfortable and if you want to wear something inside you can easily 
layer is so yeah and I got these shoes from next it was a next outlet got them for 10 pounds I think I've talked about them before I wore them for all my weddings so yeah and this class I have no idea where I got it from because it does not have a label inside but I was doing something similar and this is how I transformed from my go-kart outfit to my dinner outfit very easy simple hassle free because i didn't have to take off the jumpsuit you can imagine if i have to change the jumpsuit this one in the bathroom that's not mine it's it's just a lot of movements going on so yeah i really like it let me know what you think about the transformation outfit because i liked it i like the blazer because it brought a bit of pop to the outfit and actually i was gonna wear um these earrings uh, that i got from mango but you know when you're rushing and you're out of time and you need to go to a place by a certain time you realize oh i didn't put my earrings on and i was like yeah you know what it's not very important i bought the outfit and i look banging so we'll just leave the earrings out of it but i'm wearing the earrings today so that's it so let me know guys if you like this outfit and if you liked the transformation. I will see you in my next video, not vlog. <laughs> okay, bye!